All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachachodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings, Shalom, to the hopeful elect, to Brother Yad Dalaman. Uh, back with another lesson, man, and um, I'm not sure what I'm going to entitle this, man, but just um, dealing with the uh, the heightened prophecy that's going on right now, and you witnessing. Uh, well, we're witnessing it, man, because the rest of the world has no clue what's really going on, that this is the Most High's prophecy speaking and the Most High uh, getting ready to execute a great judgment in the earth, man. But you're seeing the fear of the Lord uh, uh, come back in the earth, man. Okay, we're witnessing people uh, uh, fear and, and, and uh, the Heavenly Father, man. Why? Because his prophets have been out on the highways and byways speaking of things uh, uh, like this uh, virus uh, uh, coming to pass, man. Okay, so whether they accept it or not, they in the back of their minds, they damn, this they, they didn't heard the truth, man. They heard that we, uh, things like this was gonna come to pass. Okay, all right, but I want to stick to the uh, uh to the uh, point of the Most High have put His men out on uh, on the uh, highways and byways to announce these things before they come, man. Okay. And I want to, uh, and really the spiritual men, man. Okay. Cause originally I was just thinking, looking at how these, uh, females are acting on, uh, bugging out, having anxiety attacks, uh, stressed out, going crazy and shit ain't even got bad, man. Okay. But you have men that's in that same spirit, man. All right. Coming in a feminine spirit and feminine meaning without faith, man. So the most high he's dealing with spiritual men that see the vision, man. The vision of what? The kingdom of heaven. All right? So they're willing to sacrifice no matter, uh, 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 even their own lives to see the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? And that's who the Most High is dealing with, man. All right? The ones who are, are equipped with that, that that fiery spirit to endure until the end, man. All right? Which is uh, uh, fueled by uh, faith and fear, man. All right? A, a healthy, righteous fear. Okay, so a little willing to be some uh, edification in this video on the grad uh, book of Revelation uh, 21 and starting at verse 3. Uh, 20, Revelation 21 and 3. It says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power, man. All right, now is it just saying, oh, that the Most High is only going to save men? No, but right now, as far as his ministry, he, that's who he's dealing with. He's dealing with men. All right, and not just any old man, okay? All right, he's dealing with spiritual men that have been chosen before the foundation of earth, man. All right? Men who uh, uh, have been gifted with faith and, and full belief in the words of this book, all right, which is Yahweh Shai because he comes in the volume of the book, man. Okay, and I just wanted to hit though this and another quick scripture in Ezekiel just to show that the Most High is dealing with men, all right? And now it's talking about a man of the Lord, not just some, uh, uh, any old Israelite, man. Okay? So it's another uh, quick precept. This is um, Ezekiel chapter 34 and verse 30. It says, This shall they know that I, the Lord, their power am with them. And they, and that they, even the house of Israel, or my people, saith the Lord, and ye my, and ye my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, saith the Lord. Power, man. Okay, so this is one to bring them two scriptures out just to establish that the Most High is dealing with men, but righteous men that have the understanding of the scriptures, man. Why? Because those are the ones that were gonna have the uh uh. uh as you read, uh, well, matter of fact, let me get it real quick. I hate to misquote the scripture. Con, this is um, Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 7. It says, But the house of the Lord will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are imputed and hard-hearted. And that's what we're dealing with, man. All right, a bunch of rebellious jakes that don't want to hear this word, man. Okay, so you have to have a certain stern spirit in you to be able to deal with that and combat with it. And you're only going to get that through your how, why you have a shot, man. 
Okay, so verse 8, it says, Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads, man. So what does that mean? The Most High equipped his men, all right, the men of the Lord, with the right spirit and mindset to be able to uh, to go up against all uh, the naysayers, man. Okay, uh, to the intent that those men make it into the end, man. Okay. I was about to use a, a famous Jake line. I'd open up the Apocrypha. And I was about to say, uh, oh, flip right to it. That's the spirit. Let me grab this precept real quick. Bear with me, Baba Kashan. So lucky for that. Uh, this is a uh, second Ezra chapter fifteen, and I'm gonna start from verse one. It says, "Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth," saith the Lord. So once again, this is coming from the heavenly Father, as you read in Sirach one and one. All wisdom uh, uh, dwelleth with the Most High forever, and I uh, speaking verbatim, man, just roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so all the the, the the understanding of these prophecies all right, uh, was given from the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai to certain men, all right, all right, to, to prophesy against this place, man, okay? It says, verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And we have full faith, man. That's what gears us, man, that the fact that especially now we're witnessing the Most High's, uh, his, uh, his words come to pass, man, okay? We're getting closer and closer to the mark of the beast dealing with this coronavirus, man. Okay? It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, man. All right? So what is incredulity? Unbelief, man. All right? The Most High made sure he put a certain spirit on his elect men. Okay? So they wouldn't be troubled or swayed by the unbelief of the people, man. Because that's what we're dealing with, man. All right? We dealing with nothing but unbelievers that don't want to hear the word of the heavenly Father, and they're gonna come with a uh, uh, nothing but op uh, opposing forces. All right, but the, we gotta stand bold in this truth until the end, man. And that's what it's all about. It's not about getting this knowledge and having it for a certain amount of time. It's about having this knowledge until the very end, man. Okay. And what is that gonna be? Uh, uh, what's gonna drive you uh, to do that? Is the faith, man. Okay. Which a carnal man don't have, man, because he's gonna believe just like in uh, like I brought up the point of these women, man. All right, they don't have no faith in anything outside of Esau's kingdom, man. Even women that that's claim they oh they know they Israel when sh the shit getting bad, uh, so to speak, and they already crumbling, man. And the same thing with certain men, man. All right, they're coming in that weak spirit, and now they in fear because. The words of the Heavenly Father, all right, which was spoken uh, out of the mouths of his prophets, are coming to pass, man. Now everybody want to have fear. Now everybody want to try to show up on the block, want to get right, man. All right, when you had the chance to, when you had the uh, uh, the choice, all right, when the choice has already been made, all right, by the Heavenly Father, okay, but while we in this flesh, it seems that you have the choice, but you have the choice to make uh, either go with the Most High or stick with the world, and you stuck with the world, man. Okay, now that the door of grace is almost shut, man. All right, and there are going to be sincere men that's going to come in at the very end, but the majority of you people is full of shit, man. Okay? You didn't have no faith, man. You just, now you want to jump on a bandwagon because you're scared, man. All right, but the most I said what in the book of Proverbs? He said he's going to laugh at your calamity when your fear cometh, man. All right? Because you're only fearing what you can see, man. You didn't have fear of these prophecies before they came, man. Okay, uh, but this is uh, a book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. And that's all we put here to do, man. Not please man, not please your woman, your kids. We're here to please the heavenly father, man. Okay, and to do that, you have to have faith in every single word of this book, man. Okay, it says, for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. And that's what we're doing. And when you read on in this chapter, it goes in all the different uh, multiple accounts of men, all right, and women 
that uh, showed their faith, man, in the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? Why? Because we know that he's a rewarder, man. So the ones that stick us, follow us, see this thing through, man. Okay? And that's what it's all about, man. All right? Doing this thing until the very end, man. All right? And that's why we have to constantly uh, rehearse the, uh, 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 well, I'll say constantly say the same prayer as King David, man. All right? And beg the Most High not to take his uh Kodash or his Holy Spirit from us, man, because that's all we have to combat with all the things that we're facing. All right, it's the Holy Spirit which gives us understanding of this word, man. Okay. Uh this is uh still in the book of Hebrews, chapter six. And I'll start at ten. It says, uh, for Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister, man. All right, so the Most High is not going to forget your works, man, and your labor of love, man. And then you see it, it just didn't stop at work because you could have men that's out doing the work, but they doing it for the wrong intent, man. But that's why I was followed by and labor of love, man. You have to be, a, you have to love to do this thing, man. Okay. It's not just doing it as an obligation or something you feel that you're forced to do, man. You should want to hit the block. You should want to do lessons. You should want to study, man. All right? And yeah, we in the flesh. We get distracted. We slip up, man. But you got to have that desire and that fight to continue pushing forward and bounce back the very next day, man. Sometimes it's the very next 30 minutes, man. All right? Or less. Okay? That's a sign of a spiritual man who fears the heavenly father, man. When you by yourself... And you you fighting to do what's right, man. Okay, continually. Okay, not when just uh, when men can see you, man. All right, when your brothers are around. Okay, but reading on, it says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. And what word is synonymous with hope? Faith, man. All right, so we're trying, we're fighting. Okay, through the spirit. All right, to show to keep this diligence until the end, the end of what? The end of all the prophecies, man. All right, to when the Lord returns, all right, that we have that confidence, man. Okay, In verse 12, it says that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises, man. And that's what we're fighting for, man. We're fighting to inherit the promises, man, and make it that first go around uh, um, in the, uh, on, on a chariot, man. Okay, and not have to be destroyed on this side, man, because it's not going to be a, 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 a light thing for somebody who's tasted his, his knowledge and didn't endure until the end, man. All right. It's going to be a heavy judgment on you because you you, you play with the most highest ministry, man. All right. All right. Possibly created stumbling blocks, led other men astray. But back to the point, this is why the Most High is dealing with spiritual men equipped with the spiritual qualities to make it unto the end, man. All right. Which he have chosen through Yahweh Shai. Okay. Real quick, this is um, James chapter 5 and verse 11. It says, Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and ye have, have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and and of tender mercy, man. Okay, so we have countless uh, uh, examples in the scriptures, man. Okay, and then specifically mentioned the Lord and Job, man, which were two key uh, uh, examples, man. All right, the Lord, first of all, showing uh, the, being the ultimate sacrifice for us, the things that He uh, had to uh, face and deal with, man, and He and He chalked it up and dealt with it, man, for for our sakes, man. All right, and then when you go into account of Job, man, that was representation of what Israel will go through as a nation, man. Okay, so we read about these things, and it should boost your faith to know that the Most High always have mercy on his uh, on the righteous, man. Okay, so you fight to uh, uh, to endure, man. All right, so when the Lord uh, is time for mercy, all right, and, and which is gonna come in the midst of judgment, man. All right, while the rest of these people are being consumed with the plagues that are set to come in the earth, man, the Most High is going to be constantly protecting his elect, man. Okay? So, uh, real quick, uh, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, man. 
And that's what we're fighting towards, to receive the end of our faith, man. And our faith is in the promises of this book, man. All right, the kingdom of heaven, the Lord returning the chariots, man. Righteous. So like your righteousness being established in the earth, man. Okay. Reading on, it says, of, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, man. And we're in that time of grace, man. Okay, but it, it, we, we have the time that is getting ready to uh, come to an end, man. Okay. It says, searching what and or what manner of time the spirit of Mashiach, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Mashiach and the glory uh, that should follow, man. So we know that if we suffer with Yahweh Shah, okay, and suffer as he did, bearing our cross, carrying our cross, that we're going to receive the same glory that he received, man, okay? But this go around, it, uh, 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 we're not just going to be changed as the Lord as as the Lord was, man, okay? But we're going to be delivered into our kingdom, man, after the destruction comes, okay? Verse 12, it says, Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported, Unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you, which the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. All right. And this is the point right here. Verse 13. It says, wherefore, gird up your loin, the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end of for the grace that is uh, that is to be brought unto you. At the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. So that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Going up the loins of our mind and being sober, man. All right, in full faith and hope unto the end of the grace, man. Which is going to come when? When the Lord returns, man. Okay, to, 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 to deliver his elect and bring the ultimate judgment on this place, man. Okay. So, uh, man, that's it for this lesson. Uh, I'm going to end it on that, man. Lord willing, else some edification. Uh, in this video, man, and we just got to continue to pray to the Heavenly Father that he uh, 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 um, place and uh, uh, remain, uh, will keep his Holy Spirit upon us, man, that we endure until the end, man, okay? So we got to stay strong in the faith, man, through these times and, and, and focus on the power of prayer, man, all right? So with that, uh, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rahurash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who continue to rule well and guide us through the spirit. All right. Peace and blessings. Shalom. Warm to the hopeful elect.